uh, industry has been so important for the East Midlands in recent years and the progress of Bombardier is truly impressive. I had great pleasure of visiting there earlier in the year um, and they even let me uh, drive a train. I wasn't very successful at that, but the company is doing very well. It's investing for the future, it's providing trains for our country and that is putting through jobs and skills for the whole region. Justin Madders. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I was surprised to learn in response to questions from myself and others that the government doesn't actually know where the Northern Powerhouse is. So, given, given the... Joining the We do have a bit of other business to get on to, but the Honourable Gentleman must be heard. Mr Madders. So, given the recent cancellation or pausing of major transport projects in the North, is it not in fact the case that the only place where the Northern Powerhouse can be found is in the Prime Minister's imagination? The truth is, the Labour Party ignored the North for years. And they cannot bear the fact, they cannot bear the fact a Conservative Prime Minister and a Conservative Chancellor sitting for a seat in the North West that is putting these issues firmly on the agenda and funding them. Order. Order, order. Before I call the Chancellor of the Exchequer, I remind honourable members that copies of the budget resolutions will be available to them in the vote office at the end of the Chancellor's speech. I also remind honourable members that it is the norm to not intervene on the Chancellor of the Exchequer or the Leader of the Opposition, and the same convention applies to the spokesperson for the SNP. I now call the Right Honourable George Osborne, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Mr Deputy Speaker, this is a budget that puts security first. It's a budget that...